Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the daily photographs, pictures, if you will, of the original facades from Fantasyland at Disneyland. I am at Disneyland for the last time today on my trip, the last couple days. I have not been filming vlogs in Disneyland. I went out around the LA, Anaheim area. I did a few other things, but I'm returning today to Disneyland to celebrate the ending of this road trip and as you can tell <clears throat> I'm actually feeling a little bit under the weather. I feel a lot better than I did last night. I went to Knott's Scary Farm. I went to Halloween Horror Nights last weekend and then this weekend, last night if you will, Saturday night, I went to Knott's Scary Farm which was very cool. I filmed a main channel video so I'll be uploading the Halloween Horror Nights video from Universal Studios Hollywood which I filmed last weekend. I finished editing that. I'll hopefully be filming uploading, I should say, that video in a couple days, and then I'll be editing down my Not Scary Farm and uploading that for a whole Halloween shindig here in the moment of October. But look at these. That was one man's vision. This hotel, of course, at one time was actually not owned by anything Disney. When Walt Disney opened Disneyland, he actually did not have enough money to open any hotels. So this was actually owned by someone else, but it has now been acquired by Disney, and this is all fantastic Disney area, Disney non-nether regions, and I'm on the second floor, and look at those, there's actually pay phones right there. How often do you actually see pay phones anymore? You can see them at Disneyland, and look at this, little Mickeys. I actually filmed a main channel video here a couple years ago. Just look it up on the Adam the Woo channel, which by the way, my Adam the Woo channel last night before I dozed off into sleep and slumber hit 90, 90,000, 90,000 subscribers. Look at this. Welcome to the Disneyland Hotel, which is really awesome. I've set a goal to myself when I started doing these videos and I started seeing the momentum of people latching on and enjoying my travels, that once I hit 100,000 subscribers, that was not going to be a pinnacle, a goal. 100,000 subscribers will be my starting point, and then it all goes uphill from there. More travels, more everything. I'm still traveling now, but I'm looking at things in a different perspective to where it's not like, okay, it's, a, it's the ending point. I've reached 100,000. It's time to chill. No, 100,000 is going to be like one, as crazy as that sounds. So I'm nine-tenths of the way from my starting point. I'll talk about that more, hopefully in a couple months or less maybe when I reach and hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm drinking water, look at this, I'm trying to get some hydration and look at this, this is awesome. If you're at Disney and you know there's a lot of people, in fact I was actually going to go in and do a vlog on Main Street at the train station. The line to get in through the security check, even on the get on the monorail and to get in the park was out of control, insane. So I opted to come over here to a little less crowded in a little less populated area. So if you ever need to take a break from the parks, come over to the Disneyland Hotel. Just walk down through downtown Disney and you'll run right into it at the very end. There's the awesome large sorcerer's miniature hat guiding you in. And you can actually come up on the second floor and look at awesome murals. You can look at awesome murals like this. Look at this. That's awesome. And they have really cool escalators and very glittery very glittery floors. Look at these. Little hidden Mickey. So this is my last day. I will not be in the park for a while today. I'm actually gonna go back to my hotel, get some laundry together, straighten up some things. I'm taking a shuttle. I ordered a shuttle online through a shuttle service that picks me up at the airport. No, picks me up at my hotel and takes me to the airport. My flight is at 8.50 tomorrow at LAX. Whoa, someone's having a good time. Whoa, there's Goofy. You see Goofy over there taking pictures with people? That is awesome, a little miniature car. I don't know if you can see him or not, but over there, Goofy is serving breakfast and lunch to people. That is really cool. And look how awesome that is. So tomorrow I'll be flying out of LAX to Orlando, Florida. The shuttle's picking me up at the airport at like 5.30 in the morning. So I've got to get some stuff ready today because tonight I will be at Disneyland at the end Go outside the Disneyland Hotel, walk down, straight down, through downtown Disney. 
California Adventure will be on the right. On the left-hand side is the majestic Disneyland. I love it here. I don't know when I'm going to be back. It might be a couple months. It actually might be a couple of years. I definitely have accomplished my goal of soaking in the history and the fantastic knowledge of Walt Disney and what he created. Sometimes I don't even ride the rides when I go in the park. I just walk around and see the fruition that came from one man's undying, unrelenting dream. Sometimes luck plays into it, but sometimes luck doesn't have the ability to actually happen unless you actually have the initiative to even start a project or continue it. Sometimes luck doesn't play into your favor until you've actually gone through the difficult aspects of starting a project. So always remember that. You always think, oh man, this guy's lucky to have created something like this or any project, not just Walt Disney, not just Disneyland, not just anything that you admire or anyone that you admire. Luck doesn't always start at the beginning. Luck sometimes takes over through the middle. It's a whole circle of karma, if you will, if you believe about karma, put good into the world and you will get good out of it. You just never know when your luck is gonna strike. And luck did strike right here in the form of Disneyland. Now they have some sort of a convention going on. In fact, look over here. They have some really cool old artifacts. Check this out from Disneyland. I really like this particular wall. When you come into the Disneyland Hotel, just walk down this little pathway and you can see all these really old, awesome artifacts. The history of Disneyland. Everything historical is very cool to me you can always look back at the memories of what has been created and look at all these fantastic Disneyland fantastic Disneyland things right there old board games old stuffed animals old pens old clocks old license plates I've actually come out here before and literally for an hour stood right here looking at all the nooks and crannies of that particular display okay Let's rehash, let's re-go over what I've talked about, not feeling well, drinking some water, hopefully later, actually later, I definitely will be at Disneyland wearing my new Space Mountain t-shirt, and this will be my last day, yes, my last day here at Disneyland for quite some time, going back to Orlando, and I have decided to go on a mission, I'm not going to tell you but within the next couple days, tomorrow I'll be filming a vlog from the airport LAX. But the next day, I will actually share some information with you about what my next, I'm going on another road trip for a little while, probably up until Thanksgiving. Where will that be? You'll just have to tune in tomorrow to find out exactly where my next road trip will be. This one was Anaheim. This one was about immersing myself in Walt Disney history and knowledge. And actually it was really cool too because a few days ago, I did not film the vlog. We were not allowed to film there. However, I was actually had the ability and was allowed to go on property at the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank. Soaked all that in, which was really fantastic. So I'm truly thankful to be in Southern California, to be at Disneyland, and to be able to have gone to Walt Disney Studios where Walt worked and walked just like the property here at Disneyland. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Follow me on the social networks. People have been asking me if I was going to be in the park later. The answer is yes, I will be at Disneyland. The park closes at midnight. So I'm going to go back to the hotel, upload this vlog, maybe take a little nap, get a little hydration, get a little soul food inside my body because I do want to feel a little bit better for tonight. Hopefully I can meet up with people, say hello, and end my fantastic voyage here at Disneyland. That's Mickey right there and Mickey in the form of hedges. I really like the Disneyland Hotel. And look straight ahead there. There is the actual sorcerer's hat I was telling you about. It's basically like a smaller version of Hollywood Studios in Florida, the old MGM. This is a little smaller version. And I actually like this one a little bit better because you can actually walk underneath it. You can actually walk right underneath the sorcerer's hat. I should be drinking this while I'm vlogging, <clears throat> but it's very difficult. My throat is a little sore. I bought some cough medicine. I bought some NyQuil last night. Knocked me out. I slept kind of late today. Normally, I wake up around 7 a.m. I slept till about 10 or 10.30 today because I didn't get back from Knott's Berry Farm till about 3 a.m. So now my goal is to go get some laundry done, 
get some things situated, pack my bag so everything is completed so I can stay in the park tonight till probably around 11 or midnight, then go take a nap, then take the shuttle tomorrow, which will take me to LAX, back to Florida, rest for a day or two, and then you know what happens then? Another road trip that you're gonna have to stay tuned to. Look at that, we just walked right underneath the sorcerer's hat. All right, love you guys, I'll see you later. Have a great day, bye.